Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today we're going to be installing our coat hooks or seatbelt hangers on our 1969 Mustang. On the 69 Mustang, the coat hooks consist of multiple parts to put each one on. Each coat hook consists of a, a base, the outer piece, and then a screw. There's a total of four coat hooks on each car. We're only going to be installing two today on the passenger side that we'll do on the video. The driver's side are going to be exactly the same. This is what each assembly is going to look like. You're going to have a screw that goes through the base, and then this rubber piece, which is rubber, not plastic, will go over the top and, and cover it. So it'll sit like that. The screw will not be visible from the inside of the vehicle. So the first step we need to do is we need to put two holes in the headliner. One hole for this pin, one hole for the screw location. The pin here is going to help it so that it doesn't rotate when you when it's sitting in the vehicle because if that's not there, it'll just spin. So we're going to put those holes in the headliner at the correct location. Then we're going to put the screw in to hold it in place. Then we'll put this in place and that'll be the piece that's visible from the vehicle. So it's as simple as that. All right, let's go put some holes in the headliner. Now comes the fun part and it's trying to find out where the holes are behind the headliner. Doing it correctly, you probably put screws in underneath so you can feel where they are, so you can make a nice little slit and be able to take it off. But I didn't do that, so we need to find out exactly where these holes are. What I've done to tr try to figure out where the holes are is, I brought up a picture of what does the vehicle look like without the headliner on. You know, what I've noticed is there is a, a hole right here, so you can see that in the picture. Then there is a bump that sets out. Now this bump that sets out right here is where this exists. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to locate these two holes and to locate them, they're gonna be in a place where it's gonna be one right below the other. So I'm going to take a dental pick and I'm gonna poke around lightly to see until I can find those holes. You can see, since I found one correctly that went all the way through and it went through the metal. Finding this one, that means the other one's going to be immediately below it or above it. Above it is not going to be correct, so it's going to be below it. So now that I have that hole in place, find the next one. Oh, there's the next one. Okay, so both of those holes are made. So now that those are located, these holes are really small enough that you can barely see them. You can see one there and then there's one underneath. It really blends in with the headliner. So with these blending in, I'm gonna use a screw to open up the top one, and then the other one I'm just gonna open up a little bit more with a dental pick. You can see that's threaded correctly. It's going into the right location. So I definitely hit the screw. And then the other hole is gonna be right below it, right there. So I'm just gonna use this Phillips head and I'm gonna twist it a little bit to make a little bit more of a hole. There we go. So now that that's installed, I'm gonna test fit this in place. So that little hole goes in the bottom. The screw goes up top and it fits flat against there. So now I can just thread it in place and it should hold it in. All right, so this is in place. First one is in. We just need to put the covering on it. Let's go ahead and do the second one before we finalize this one up. So the second one we're going to put in place is going to be behind the seatbelt over here. Up on this plate. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this one. And then we're going to... Make sure everything fits correctly and we'll put it all back together. You can see I have the seat belt in place now, so that, that's one of the benefits of having this installed. All right, with this one installed up here, we need to figure out where the second one goes. Now the second one's gonna go behind the seat belt in this area, so I gotta find out exactly where those holes are. And then I'm gonna use our dental pick I'm going to use it to poke a hole through, and that'll be the location. Got one. Okay. It took a while, but I was able to find one. The way I was able to find one, without I was having some trouble finding it with the, just the tool itself in my fingers, I used an Allen wrench, and I was just tapping around until I found, I could push in and figured out where the hole was. So I can see this one is directly beneath it. So we're going to do the same thing right underneath it. Okay, use the Allen wrench to put an impression in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this through. It should just easily go through. Yep. Take the 
screwdriver, twist, and open up. Now with both of those holes in place, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the white piece in. As we said before, the pin goes into the bottom hole, then the screw goes into the slot. There we go, it's in place. Now let's go ahead and get the top covers on top. Okay, now that's in place, it's going to be as simple as taking this black cover, sliding it over the top of it, and now you have a coat hook and a horribly done headliner. The back one is exactly the same. Slide it right over the top, and then you have that in place with your seatbelt. One of the reasons why this feature is important is you can see the seatbelt now up in the air. When I'm driving, it's typically back there banging off something when it's not in place, or it's when someone's getting out of the car, it's banging on the uh, inner door jam, which isn't great because it could potentially scratch it up. It also can get shut in the door. So by having it up there, it's out of the way. Thanks for tuning into Smacks Garage today. We're one step closer to finishing the restoration of this car. It's almost springtime, so we're gonna be out there driving soon. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. I'll see you next time.